Christmas time lapse. That's my new Christmas tree. All right, everyone, it's Duffy. Welcome to another edition of Bike Week Nation. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, hope everyone's having a great holiday season. Um, just uh, today, I uh, went to the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization at a meeting up in Manchester. There is pending legislation to impose a reimpose a helmet law, and it would apply to both motorcycles and bicycles. So there was an organizing meeting um, at a brew pub up in Manchester. They're trying to organize folks to rally against this uh, piece of legislation. And it um, is going to have a hearing probably the first week in February um, in front of the Transportation Committee. And, you know, look, um, if you can go to the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization's website, they could probably give you some more uh, information um, there. They don't have a specific date, but the hearing's um, likely to be the first week in February, as I said. And right now what they're trying to do is, is, is they're trying to get New Hampshire residents to write letters to their lawmakers um, saying that they oppose this new um, piece of legislation that would make helmets mandatory in the state of New Hampshire. Now, I personally always wear a helmet, um, but uh, I sort of agree with the folks that think it should be a freedom of choice issue, which is, uh, you know, really the case they're making up in New Hampshire. So why don't we uh, go to uh, some tape from today's meeting of the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization. Duffy, we're here at the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization meeting. They're gearing up for a fight to um, gear up folks to lobby against a helmet bill that's pending in the legislature on the transportation bill. There's going to be a hearing the first week in February. We don't have the exact date, so stay tuned to Bike Big Nation for details. But this meeting today, they try to get folks to write letters. So if you're concerned and you really, um, it's a freedom issue. It doesn't matter if you really wear a helmet. Um, the government should be telling us that we have to wear a helmet. I wear a full-faced helmet, but I don't want the government telling me that I have to wear a helmet. Hey, I'm here at the Nimro meeting today. We got an important bill going up for a vote. It's against helmets for all motorcyclists. Send your letter in if you don't want to wear a helmet. I wear a helmet, but it should be for the rider to decide. Thank you. So that's a little update on uh, efforts to sort of organize folks to uh, protest pending legislation that would impose a, a helmet requirement in the state of New Hampshire. So again, the hearing is going to be the first week in February, so we'll be giving you more information as it becomes available. And you should probably go check out the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization's website Um for more information, you should probably join the New Hampshire Motorcycle Rights Organization. I don't even live in New Hampshire. Uh, I have a camp, summer cottage up there, um, but I am a member. They're a great organization. Um, it's 20 bucks to join, and all those funds are used to advocate on behalf of motorcycle legislation and against um, things that would take away motorcycle enthusiast rights. So you should just check them out. They're a good organization. I uh, enjoyed hanging out with them this afternoon. Uh, ran a great meeting. Um, so this week's, uh, I don't know, I told folks last week, I took a trip to the Harley-Davidson Museum in Milwaukee, and uh, I'm going to do regular segments 
um, on the Harley Davidson Museum. And while we were there, Bill Davidson, Willie G's son, was gracious enough to sit down and spend some time with us. So I'm going to do segments with him as well. Today's segment, he talks about the very first Harley Davidson, um, serial number one. And he talks about, you know, how much of a revolution it was uh, for them at the time and how, you know, there was these 20 year old guys working in the shed behind, you know, they're, they're, they're basically a tool shed and they were working at a bicycle company and they sort of created this iconic American brand, Harley Davidson. So hope everyone enjoys this um, week's um, Davidson on Davidson segment. We call it Davidson on Davidson. I call it D on D. So here's this week's D on D. When you think about 1903s, the, the environment then was, hey, let's create a little motor and put it on a bicycle chassis. Right? Bill Harley, when he was 15, worked at a bicycle manufacturer in Milwaukee called Musabach. And that's where he started brainstorming, hey, how do I put a motor on And the oldest piece of memorabilia we have, I'll show it to you, it's a blueprint of a little motor he was finding to go on a bicycle. <coughs> but being how brilliant he was, he said, time out, everybody else is doing that. We're going to start from the ground up and design a chassis and a motor so it's one. So it was more dependable, more reliable, got the horsepower to the ground better. And that was the, the serial number one. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. So I really want to thank Bill Davidson for doing that um, and taking the time to talk with us and be a part of Pike Week Nation. It was really, really an awesome, awesome time. If you get a chance, I would really highly suggest checking out the Harley Davidson Museum. It's well worth your time. It's Even if you're not into motorcycles, it's really well laid out. I think other folks in your family will enjoy it. So if you're in Milwaukee, um, I would definitely say go check out the Harley Davidson Museum. And again, we're going to have segments every week. Um, that sort of show you different areas of the Harley Davidson Museum. Um, was going to do a segment this week um, on the board and track racing. I don't know if you if you follow my page, Duffy Digital. There was a uh, a link to a story about board track racing, and there's um, uh, next weekend we're going to do a segment on that the the um, segment of the museum that sort of talks about that part of motorcycle racing history. Board track racing was something that you know predated the wall of death and it was really something that was so dangerous that eventually they outlawed the sport believe it or not so we're going to have more information on that on future shows but there's going to be a harley davidson minute segment in just about every show we do for the next couple of weeks anyway um so let's uh get to our laconia rewind segment every week i do a segment that you know takes us back to former laconia motorcycle week and put together a little segment. This week's segment takes place at the Broken Spoke. I think I taped it a couple years ago. I think it might be 2016, 2017. I'm not really sure. And it's my buddy Jay Allen who founded uh, the Broken Spoke, and he's doing his motorcycle Olympics, and you get a chance to meet some of the incredible servers who were there that year at the Broken Spoke. So sit back and uh, take a look at this week's uh, Laconia Rewind segment. Harley Street Glide. Uh, it's got a Pro Charger on it. Stock 96 motor. It's been done up a little bit. 145 horse, 30 inch wheel on the front. 1500 watt stereo system with a custom sub enclosure. Uh, everything's operated off of an iPad system. 
zero wires, zero switches on the bike, nothing visible. Everything has been hidden. Uh, bars are 100% internal. It's a fast, mean bike, man. Loud. What's your name and where are you from? Dustin Hanson, Sandwich, Illinois. That's the topper of the day, bike number eight, Charlie, 54 Panhead. You again. Tell me a little bit about your motorcycle. Well, it started out as a 1978 FXE shovel head, and uh, that was the start. And I took the sawzall to it, you know, cut it in half, and made, made the ass end the rigid frame, and, and uh, put the oil tank in the top of the frame, and put those tanks on it, you know. And, but uh, my favorite part is the, uh, the motor. Tell me about the motor. I'll go videotape it later. Yeah, I, I just uh, made one cylinder as a pan head and one's a shovel. Uh -huh. Yeah, just like I know Indy and Larry did it, but on TV. I, but I, I did a long time before that, you know. But uh, I, I like that. I like that concept. So. That's yeah. awesome. My name's Steve. It's a 31 Ford, chopped and channeled, two door. It's, it's a rat rod, but it's a little bit nicer than a rat rod, you know. Just probably going too far. You from Maryland? Where about? Nice. North of Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's this week's Rewind segment. I don't know if you saw the Winter Biker logo there at the end. I want to thank Ray from Winter Biker. They run an awesome winter transportation service that will bring your bike down to Florida for the winter, and then they've negotiated really cheap round-trip airfare tickets. So we're going to be documenting the adventures that sort of take place with Winter Biker all winter, so stay tuned for that. We're going to have Winter Biker segments from down in Florida all winter. My bike's heading down there my prized soft tail deuce is uh getting ready to be shipped down to florida in one of winter bikers patented customized transportation boxes they have this incredible system that immobilizes your motorcycle and prevents any damage and maybe i'll do a segment on one of those uh before i ship it down um but again uh look you know looking forward to going down to florida this winter and i'll be sending you guys videotape from uh our exploits down in Florida with Winter Biker. But that's really pretty much it for today's show. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and hope everyone's having a great, great holiday season. Uh, as folks know or maybe don't know, um, the show's going to be on the Bike Week Nation YouTube channel. I usually post it Monday or Tuesday, and uh, there's a lot of content on there from prior shows and prior Laconia Motorcycle Week videos so please if you can take take some time and go to bike week nation on youtube and um if you like it subscribe it's free and it helps me bring you uh additional content but that's about it uh for today's show so I, again i just want to sort of thank everyone for tuning in and the show went a little long this week i, I was supposed to start a music segment that i'm going to be doing on a regular basis but unfortunately Facebook Live does not like 4K video, and when I tried to upload uh, the EXP Bands video uh, into the switcher, it, it didn't recognize it. So that's my bad. I should have formatted it. Facebook Live only takes 
eight, you know, seven twenty. Um, so next week we'll start the music segment and we'll start off with the EXP band, and then we'll be showing you, you know, bands, you know, off and on throughout the winter. So I'm going to do a regular music segment, so you guys can look forward to that. But for now, that's about it. Um, hope everyone again is having a good holiday season and duff out.